How's it going everyone? This is Soul Singed here, and welcome back to the Why I Love series. In fact, let me, let me do this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect for this. And today, we're going to be talking about Lil Darky. Now, yes, I am aware that Lil Darky is probably the most controversial rapper out right now. I know good old Tom McDonald likes to label himself as controversial, but Lil Darky has probably been cancelled more than any other artist that I can remember in recent times. Well, since about as long as cancel culture has been a thing. Most people know him as the guy who blew up on TikTok, then got cancelled on Twitter. My god, it is going crazy out there. Yeah, it's storming over here right now, so if you hear anything, that's probably what it is. But yeah. I like Lil Darky's music. Why? Because it's good. But before I get into that, let me get two things out the way. Two of the things that a lot of people don't understand about Darky. One, Lil Darky is not white. A lot of people have criticized him for using the N-word, saying, Oh, he's a white rapper and he's using the N-word. How can he do that? He's not white, he's Indian. And I've also heard that he does have some black in him, but I'm not sure. But I do know for a fact that he's Indian. And then another thing, people think that his character that he portrays himself as is black skin. It is not black skin. Lil Darky's religion is Hindu, and in the Hindu religion, Hindu gods are supposed to be portrayed with black skin. And that's what Lil Darky is portraying himself as a Hindu god. Lil Darky is portraying himself as a Hindu god. Hindu gods are supposed to have black skin. That's why Darky has black skin. Or his character. And another thing, a whole part of Darky's image is painting things in a really edgy and twisted way when having the opposite intentions. Lil Darky has mastered being ironic. Lil Darky has mastered making satire. That is one thing I love about Darky. He is the master at making you think. He is the master of taking things, putting them out there in a very bad and edgy way, a way where you would completely disagree, and then twisting that around. Another thing I really like is he's just so weird. Lil Darky is definitely an acquired taste. Like some of the other rappers I've covered in this series, not everyone's going to like Darky. But Darky is also a very diverse artist. For those of you who, who haven't heard much of Darky, you probably just think, oh, he's just another rapper who just screams over distorted beats. No. Darky does that. He can also straight up rap. Like, he can seriously rap his ass off. He can also sing... And he's done some songs that are just straight up punk. As well as a song called Rap Music, which is like this weird mixture of punk, rap, country. Just such a weird combination, and it works. And then again, Darky also has a very, very unique voice. When you hear Darky's voice, you know it's Darky. You know it's him. And, yeah. He's also a more lyrically inclined rapper, but not in a corny or edgy way. As well as he can, and he can also just have fun on a track. And yeah, that's why I love Lil Darky. And it's, Lil Darky, it's also kind of weird to explain what makes him good. But he's definitely the type of artist where you have to really look at and not take it at face value. That's kind of the whole point between a lot of Darky's messages is not taking it at face value and actually looking into what is being presented to you. It's like Lil Darky is a true artist, if that makes sense. And uh, yeah, that kind of wraps this one up. I know I didn't really have a lot to say about him, but it's just hard to describe why I like Lil Darky, if that makes sense. And, um, yeah, like every other video in the series, I'm going to end it by showing a quick little compilation of some of Darky's best songs. So, if you like what you hear, please check them out. 
And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And in just under, in a little over two days, my last video, which was me reviewing Tom McDonald's song, Dear Slim, got 120 views in two days. That is my fastest growing video at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, peace. Niggas will believe whatever you tell them if you tell them enough. Helpful when you selling some stuff or start. You may not understand now, but we all return where we once were. Words are color written in my hands now. In my skin from within, tell me how could I pretend that I know? Hey. Vibrate on drugs is a fun. Blind from the tears in her eyes She want me to find my life in these rhymes